spit my set. He didn't call me the oracle. I'm about to make this historical. You questions, you ask me rhetorical. Like who do I be? You know, you know. I am the queen. I'm a supreme. You didn't know. What do you mean? Loki they call me the oracle. I'm about to make this historical. These questions, you ask me rhetorical. Like who do I be? Peace and blessings. This is your girl, the Philippe Bruja, coming to you really quickly on a Tuesday night. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you all had a good day and things like that. So it's brought to my attention. <laughs> this is some, this is some crazy shit. It was brought to my attention that um apparently on TikTok, I uh, don't have a TikTok, so I don't know. But apparently on TikTok, right, you got um baby witches. What's a baby witch? A baby witch is someone who was just now stepping their little pinky toes into, you know, the magical waters of the occult, which everyone, you know, prefer to study. So that's what I call, or that's what a lot of us call, the baby witches. The baby witches are uh, people, young people mostly, who decide to, to stick their little toes in and, you know, they go all out. <laughs> We all know what the recoup like repercussions of that could be, right? It's not good all the time. Cause they're usually like jumping headfirst into a whole bunch of fuckery and energy that they can't even handle and then everything in their life falls to shit. And they don't understand why. So apparently, you guys, they are fight fighting on TikTok. These little motherfuckers <laughs> Let me just give a warning, okay? I am not wicked at all, okay? I've studied it because it's my job to study it, you know, as far as spirituality goes and religion, okay? I don't subscribe to it, you know, powers, you know, peace and blessings and good vibes and blessed be to them, okay? I don't know anything about, I, I don't dabble in it at all, okay? It's not where my roots come from, um... Which I would prefer for them to stay out of, you know, ours as well. But I just wanted to give my opinion on this. So apparently, the baby witches on TikTok um, are fight fighting. They are fight fighting over uh, the phase. Yeah, I said phase. Uh, as in, like, phase, fairy, like that kind of thing. I didn't even know this was a thing. Okay. I mean, I've seen it on TV, of course. On, um... You know, the fae people, fairies and shit like that. It's, I've seen it on TV. I've never personally had the uh, the pleasure of meeting one, okay? <laughs> Can't believe we're talking about this shit. Now, I have never had the pleasure, you know, of meeting a fae person or whatever. Because I don't... A fae wouldn't be mortal, so I don't... Okay, anyway. So apparently they fight fighting on um, TikTok, right? And... The baby witches decided they're going to hex the moon. Who in their right mind will even try that, okay? They decided they're going to hex the moon. They mad at the fake people. They're going to, they, they hex them too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are the baby witches, the ones who, like, come in your inbox or is on Google or YouTube hunting down hexes and spells to get back at lovers and hexes and spells to make somebody love you and hexes and spells because somebody made you mad and <sighs> it just don't work that way it don't work that way but yeah so they got into a little fight fight um over on the tiktok land uh you know so here we are <laughs> So you got us, who are like elders in the community, you know, who's been in the game 20 plus years, right? This is stupid. It's not going to work. There's a whole lot of reason why it's not going to work. Because the moon is very, very, very important uh, when it comes to um, spirituality, number one. When it comes to manifesting things. Um, even for full moon water, for purity. Um, yeah, the moon, the sun, all of that stuff is way older than humans. And our mysticism and occultism is way older than that. Um, yeah, this is some crazy shit. You gotta, you gotta uh, take these little baby witches with a grain of salt. 
I was reading up on it. Um, I haven't found the video yet to it, but I just thought it was hilarious. Because I've never heard of Faye people before. I mean, obviously, I've heard of Faye, but never had the pleasure of meeting one. You know, but apparently, they're beefy. <laughs> or TikTok. So, you probably got, like, a whole bunch of little little baby witches fighting little baby Faye's. And they throwing crystals and... <laughs> crystals and candles, okay? <laughs> throwing crystals and candles and shit. And each other over there on TikTok. Causing a whole fuss. If you Google it, it'll come up. Yo, I can't believe this is a fucking thing. I, I can't believe this. <laughs> to be clear, uh, if anyone doesn't know what a hex is, a hex is like putting a curse on someone. Um, putting bad juju on someone. Um, things of that nature. Uh, that's what a hex is, in case you didn't know. Anyone who's been in this time, um, in, in this type of... Uh, situation you know if this is part of your life and, and things of that nature we also know that that's not something that you do lightly that's not something that um you would do just because you and your feelings okay um because there's always always a chance of um backlash you know something for something you get nothing free nothing not even when it comes to uh, manipulating energies none of that is free and everything can have a possible clapback okay and just and you know mindlessly just throwing hexes on someone because they made you mad and shit like that either they don't work or it winds up coming back it might work for a second but then pow you get hit right back with it because that's what this whole thing is about it's about balance you know what I mean it's all about balance you know what you put out there is returned to you 100 folds that's how it works so i would say um in regards to this whole situation i didn't even notice what the thing apparently which tiktok is a thing i don't know I, I had no clue okay again i'm a woman of a certain age so yeah i'm not a tiktok fan but apparently it's a thing and i would just usher a warning to the people that are playing around and manipulating energies because you saw some videos, you Google some things, hopefully you read some books. You know, I still believe in the art of reading a book, an actual book, not even on online, you know what I mean? An actual book in your hand. I'm, I'm still a big fan of that. I would hope that they um be cautious, you know, be very cautious because your whole life can fall apart when you're fucking around with these energies and, and pulling certain things up. That um, number one, you have no business uh, doing. I, I, again, I don't, I can't even fathom calling myself or any of my moon babies saying, "Hey, we're gonna hex the moon for what?" <laughs> it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Not only is it not gonna work, but why? Why? What the moon do to you? <laughs> So they all up in the tizzy, okay? You got people making videos. I'm now one of them, okay? Because I'm just an old, an old ass one, you know? I've been in this motherfucker for like 20 plus years. Um, yeah, there are consequences to things like that. So I would just stress uh, to the little baby witches out there, take your time, take baby steps. Don't go jumping into something your ass can't jump out of. Uh, I think um, our girl uh, who passed away, trying to pull up Papa Lagwa, you know, um, <laughs> there's several examples that I can use. There was even a couple that, um, was trying to, uh, I don't, you know what, I, I don't want to misrep misrepresent the whole story, but a couple did die in a fire. Um, they were like YouTube witches and warlocks and they died, um, apparently it had something to do, uh, with a candle. Or something like that. And the whole house caught on fire. They died. The child died. It was a high ass mess. But um, yeah. Things like that do happen. And I'm not even going to sit here and say. Well you know. Maybe it was an accident or something like that. Sometimes when you're pulling in energies. And you're not really sure what you're doing. um, Things like that happen. You can also pull in, pull in energy to your home. um, And things start going bad for you. 
things start happening in the house. Because um, when you tap it into that kind of energy and things of that nature, you're um, if you're not sure what you're doing and things like that, it's very easy for a lower level um, entity or energy, I should say, to um, tap in and come on in. And you literally just gave them an invitation to come on in and fuck shit up. OK, you don't want to do that. Also, just a word to the wise, um, I would not be doing the Google thing, the YouTube thing, um, uh, and going ahead and um, redoing it. You know how people go and you get uh, different kind of rituals and things like that. If you notice on my channel, um, all the fuckery stuff that goes on the sector aside when it comes to spirituality and um, being a bruja, um, I take that very seriously. Number one, I do not give out rituals. Um, I don't perform root work for money for anyone. There's a lot of different rules that I have in place. I talk to you about, you know, things surrounding it. I, I don't give out the actual rituals. And also, um, I would never, ever, ever, ever have someone work with any kind of deity that they have no experience in or no background or lineage to, anything like that. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how they work it in Wiccan, over in the Wicked land. I don't know how it works, but I don't, we don't rock that way. So you won't even see a lot of stuff about it online. If you do take it with a grain of salt, I would definitely not recreate it. Um, a lot of times, traditions and um, spells, if you may, are passed down verbally, you know, from family and elders um, in your community. My advice would be to tap an elder on their shoulder and get some advice get some you know knowledge sit down shut up and listen to your teachers you know your moon mamas your moon daddies yeah sit down and listen don't go jumping head first into no fuck shit because then you got to pay a whole lot of money for somebody to come in and fix that shit if it's fixable depending on how much damage you charge i mean how much damage you've done be endless don't do it so, just to sum it all up, from just an old brew high over here, you know what I mean? But what do I know? I only spend 20, some, 20 plus years in the game. Um, the moon is used. It's super powerful. Um, no, you will not be able to hex a damn moon. Um, why would you? Okay. That's, that's crazy. That's one of the most insane things I've ever heard of. Because a lot of um, different religions and uh, different parts of uh, spirituality... Um, our deities use the moon. A lot of them are represented by the moon, like Yemaya, um, the moon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've spoken many times on sex magic, using the moon, manifesting, using the moon, uh, the full moon too. You know what I mean? That's a very important part of all of this. So no, they're wasting their little crystals and time and energy on foolishness that's foolish it'll never work ultimately these baby witches are risking themselves they are risking their families because clapback doesn't always necessarily have to come to you it can hit someone very close to you we don't want that now do we i would just highly suggest for them to fall back and listen and take their time take your time you know we're all still students um even though I have been into spirituality and the occult for a very long time, I'm always, always, always still a student. And I think that's where a lot of people uh, lose their way. My personal advice would be to refocus that energy on some shit in your life that could truly use it. That could truly benefit from it. Hell, focus on these motherfuckers that's running for office and all the shit that's going on in your, in your own country. You know what I mean? Focus the energy on that. You know? Leave them all alone. I don't need to do nothing to nobody. <laughs> they tripping, y'all. They tripping. I just wanted to bring this story on real quick. Uh, this is crazy, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I'm even doing a video on this shit. But it just came across my timeline too much. I'm like, wait a minute, what? What? This is a thing? Okay. Like, I know folks love Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Love it. But, okay, I know folks love Harry Potter. But... That's not really how it works, okay? That's not how it really works here in this dimension, you know? That's not how it works at all. So, yeah, y'all get y'all get yourself together, okay? 
fussing and fighting over there on TikTok. Probably going to be over here on YouTube very soon, probably, if not already. Um, refocus y'all energy, little baby witches, and fall back. Have a seat. 10,000 of them, please. And um, stop that foolishness. Refocus your energy on some shit that could do good. Refocus that energy on your goddamn life. How about that? Manifest some good shit in your life instead of attacking the damn fairy people. I didn't even know it was some fairy people. I'm, I'm truly, I, I want to meet one. Shit. I've never met one. <laughs> I've never even met anyone who claims to be one, okay? Hey, listen. I've seen a lot of strange shit, okay? a lot of strange shit out here in this universe, in this land in these different countries I've been to I've seen a lot of shit, I've experienced a lot of shit so you know, nothing surprises me but I didn't know that the fairy fae people was a thing, but okay DM me <laughs> love to meet one of you but other than that the baby witches have a seat, stop, refocus pull your energy into something else ladies, you know that's not how this works and you know that most of us who's been doing this for a very long time, we do not advise hexing and cursing someone, especially because you win your feels. No, it's not how it works. All right, y'all, you have a good night. Me tomorrow bring all the blessings you deserve. And I'm out, okay? Peace. Or should I say, toodles.